Jason, are you guys excited to be here? I'll tell you what, Ashes, you, they're excited to be here. I heard. Yeah. Hey, it's been a whole year since I've seen you. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Looks like you've lost some hair. One or two. What, what have you been doing this year? Uh, I'm studying mostly. I'm studying mostly. Oh, you know what I've been doing? What have you been doing? I've been working on smoking detectors. I've been trying to invent the very biggest and very best smoke detector in the world. If you're real good, I may show you one of them. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like good. Hey, Clairol. It's been a long time since I've seen you. How are you doing? I'm good, Buckets. Alright, all right. I like your hair. I like your hair too, but I like my hair. I like my hair. I got my hair. I got my hair cut today. What do you think? Did the barber do a good job? You know, I told him to take a little bit off the sides. Did he do a good job? Yeah, looks good, buddy. Are you guys ready for us to start the show? Yeah! Well, we better take our places then. Let's go. All right, well, enjoy the show. Yeah, 
It's a smoke detector invention. Really? That bird? Yeah. How does it work? Well, it's really very simple, Clara. What I do is I look around, and if I see or smell smoke, then I pull on this string like this, and the bird, and the bird alerts everyone in the circus that I've seen or smelled smoke. Well, that's good, Buckets, but what happens at night when you're asleep? Well, I snore really loud. No, Buckets. What I mean is, if you're not awake, you can't smell smoke and sound the alarm. You mean like this? <coughs> yeah, but... <coughs> you can't be awake all the time, and the bird needs to sleep, too. Oh, you know, I hadn't thought about that. Maybe I should work on some of my other ideas. Yeah, Buckets, I think you should. Come on, bird. <coughs> Let's go this way. Is that the pail of water for the high dive act? No, this is the pail of water to clean up after the elephants. This is the pail of water to clean up for the high dive act. Are you the high dive act? No way! That's way too dangerous. And besides, I've got a week back. Really? When did that happen? About a week back. <laughs> then why are you wearing that swimsuit? Well, because after we're done here, I'm going swimming. Ooh, that sounds dangerous too. Not if you know the rules of water safety. You know the rules of water safety? Yep. I'm to the clown department. Did you say you were going swimming? I sure did, Buckets. Can I go too? Why, sure. Oh, right. Okay, good. Well, let's show everybody that we know the rules of water safety. Okay. Okay. What's the number one rule for safety for kids who want to go in the water? That's easy. Go to the bathroom first. No, no Buckets. The number one rule for kids who want to go swimming is to always swim with a buddy. You mean like you and me? We're yeah. buddies. Right, like you and me, remember? Like back in Counterbird. Is that good? 
Yeah, that looks great. And this style, you wear it by putting it over your head, and it's got a strap that goes all the way around your body. All the way around your body? All the way around. Okay. Are we ready? We're ready. All the way around his body. All the way around his body. All the way around his body. Boy, that was a long way around your body. It is a long way around there. And we need to make sure this one's snug too, huh? That's right, we sure do. Okay, and you always want to make sure that you wear the proper size. And does this look like it's the right size for me? Oh, it's too small, isn't it? So remember, anytime you go on a boat, you want to have your very own life jacket, and you always want to have your very own seat in the boat. You know what Enos says? You should go in feet first the first time. What? You need to go in the water feet first the first time until you know how deep it is because you might hit your head on the bottom. Ooh, you know, that would hurt. That's right. And you don't want to dive in a shallow end of a pool or swim under diving boards or slides. Boy, girl, my head is swimming. This is a lot more complicated than I thought. Well, I have a quick quiz. Oh, quick quiz. Before going into the water, you want to look around and see if you can spot someone. Who? Pretty girls. No, Buckets. The lifeguard. Or a responsible adult who's going to watch over you. Now, when you go to your favorite swim place, you need to follow something. What? Pretty girls. No, Buckets. You need to follow all the rules. Swimming pools and swimming areas often have their rules posted so everyone can stay safe. And you need to make sure that you don't run or horse play around the water. Well, this don't sound like much fun. Who wrote these rules anyway? Ooh, I know the answer to that one. Okay, Ash, just who? Pretty girls. Afraid to be the safest dude around. Swim safe, swim safe. Follow the rules and you'll never ever drown. Swim safe, swim safe. Grab a jacket and your body too. These are rules that you'll always do. Swim safe and you're sitting on top of the world. business cause here come the clothes okay. Good morning I'm Sergeant Safety and I'm Officer David and we're here today to talk to you about scooter skateboard and bicycle safety you know scooters are becoming very popular these days but they can be very dangerous when used on the road, or in the street, or in parking lot with their cars. That's exactly right, Officer David. You know, kids, if you have a scooter, you need to follow the same safety rules as if you were riding your bicycle. That means always wear your helmet, your pads, and always, always follow the rules of the road. Because that's where most accidents happen. That's exactly right. No matter how good a rider you are, there's always a chance that you can have a wreck. That's why you always want to follow the same rules as you would on skateboards, bicycles, or scooters. Wear your helmet and your pants. Do I make myself clear? Yeah! I can't hear you! Yeah! And you know, kids, before you cross the street, you need to make sure you look left, and then you look right, and then you look to your left again. You need to make sure that the driver of those cars can see you because they can't always... They can't always see you. 
<laughs> That's why you never want to play between parked cars. Always cross at the crossing guard, with the crossing guard, or at the crosswalk. The sergeant safety is not for any of you kids to get hurt. <laughs>
a screw loose somewhere. Carl, I'm telling you, this thing's designed to run 24-7. Now, now, Buckets, I know you've been working really hard, but I don't think it's going to work. It, it works just fine, Clara. Buckets, you've got it backwards. It's only supposed to go off when it smells smoke. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's when it's supposed to go off. <laughs> that's okay. I know you're sister's going to
what's in here. Okay. Just fine. Well, I'll say. 
say it does. Pretty sensitive piece of machinery. Something's wrong. This should have went off. It didn't work. What's the matter, Carl? Well, see, I told you that's why we need to check it. We sure do. What do you think's wrong with our smoke detector? Oh, okay, well, let me try that and see how that works. Oh, we didn't wind up. We didn't do the wind up. No, I didn't. Man, it still didn't work. You think maybe he needs a battery? Have you been feeling run down today? I think he needs a recharge. We need the big battery for big coach. For Mr. Faculty. Yeah.
Great company from Station 2. Thank you guys for helping us out. See you boys and girls. Come again next year. Remember, have fun. The PSA. Thank <laughs> you.